to Palm Springs when the procession began of the two fallen officers in Palm Springs, Jose Gil Vega and Leslie Zarevny. You are watching right now their fellow officers loading their bodies into hearses to be taken from the De Desert Regional Medical Center in Palm Desert to the coroner's office for the Riverside County Sheriff's. There are two white hearses out there here at the Desert Regional Medical Center, and as you can see, officers are now standing in attention, saluting as their bodies are about to be loaded into these hearses and taken east to Indio to the Riverside County Coroner's Office. Just certainly a heartbreaking situation out here in Palm Springs. These two officers, one at the beginning of her career, she had just joined the force a year and a half ago, a new mom, 27 years old, the other about to retire, 63 years old, a father of eight. So certainly just a horrifying situation right now. Uh, and as we continue to learn more details about the shooter, it seems that he apparently intended to kill cops is what witnesses say they heard him say. And this was a family dispute in the northern part of Palm Springs that resulted in three officers shot today. Another officer is in the hospital right now with his wounds. But as you could see, emotions running high. We have seen officers openly weeping here in Palm Springs today. Uh, certainly a very sad and somber situation unfolding. And can you imagine what it's like for all of these officers right now to have to physically load the caskets into the hearse for them to make their way to the Riverside County Sheriff Corner's office? That has to be an incredibly daunting and overwhelmingly terrifying and very sad situation that they have here. The emotions they must be feeling right now, I can't even imagine what it's like for them to have this task. But again, tonight, many, many people have shown up as their fellow officers with the Palm Springs Police Department load up Jose Gil Vega and Leslie Zarebny into the hearses to prepare to take them on their final journey to the coroner's office. And in fact, here is the flag draped casket just now leaving the hospital, heading toward the hearse. We heard earlier from Palm Springs Police Chief Brian Reyes, who said that they gave it all for you. He got very emotional talking about these officers and how they put their lives on the line to keep the public protected. He says they are out there every day with boots on the ground for our community. This was a routine call, a simple family disturbance. And that's when the suspect decided to open fire on these officers, killing two of them, 27-year-old Leslie Zarebny and 63-year-old Jose Vega. But again, you can see right now their flag draped caskets being loaded into these two white hearses before they are taken to the Riverside County Sheriff's Office. Any law enforcement officer will tell you, and Peter, you know this as well from covering many uh, situations out there, that domestic situations are the worst and potentially most deadly situations an officer can mm. approach and as we zoom in as these bodies are being loaded again there's that outpouring of emotion that probably feeling of disbelief that this is even happening they have had just such little time to come to terms with everything that has transpired between the time these two officers were shot to this moment right now. It must seem surreal that just hours before these two officers were answering a domestic call and now this. It's so hard not to get choked up watching this because as the police chief said earlier today, these are officers, they go into police work to defend the public. They don't know every day when they you know, get out of their homes what's going to happen, but these two officers were just trying to do their jobs when they were just senselessly killed. And uh, in fact, right now we're also learning that Palm Springs is putting flowers outside of the police station, people leaving tokens of affection to pay their respects. But uh, still, this is very fresh, very raw. You could see those officers not holding back their emotions right now as they just saluted uh, these, these caskets that are being loaded inside uh, of these hearses. And uh, I believe these are friends and family members um, standing by as well. Just a very solemn situation unfolding right now in Palm Springs. Uh, people still in shock, disbelief. We heard from some city council members out there earlier today. They said this is like a nightmare that they're living through right now. The mayor of Palm Springs, Rob Moon, also said that uh, this is the worst day of his life. Uh, Palm Springs, certainly not a place 
as no place is, but certainly Palm Springs is not a place that we tend to associate with with police uh, violence or, or any sort of uh, hor major major criminal major criminal activity. So a lot of people in this community feel like th their their sense of stability has been shattered. Sure, it's going to be a very long night in Palm Springs, not only for the families and fellow officers, but for the community as well. We've already seen people coming together to leave all of the flowers and candles and everything at the Palm Springs Police Department. We showed that just a little bit earlier. That memorial is continuing to grow. And now we're seeing people um, here at the Desert Regional Medical Center here in Palm Desert all gathering to show their support for the police officers and the family members who are also here at the hospital more than likely in absolute disbelief that this is all happening, but unfortunately... This community is now plunged into mourning. Yes. Uh, and this is video from earlier that I believe we, we just showed you of when the casket was coming out, um, but you could just see it on the faces of all these officers, just how heartbroken they are and how shocked they are uh, that two of their own have lost their lives in the line of duty, responding to what should have been just a routine call, a family disturbance. So again, as we uh, continue to learn more about the gunman who has not uh, turned himself in yet, who is still apparently holed up inside a home, um, we're, we're still working to figure out what, what happened and, and his motive for killing these officers, but uh, still heartbreaking, still senseless. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to continue following this, this procession uh, about to uh, begin from, from where they're at, the Desert Regional Medical Center, 15 miles east into Indio. Uh, to the Riverside County uh, Coroner's Office. But 